everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be um, showing you some of my September favorites. I've got a huge box here full of stuff. It's not all new stuff. Some of it is just new to me and just it's just things I was loving for the month of September. So um, I'm not going to go in any particular order and this video is probably going to be kind of all over the place because I didn't organize it. I said to myself, when you get home from work, just go in, do your makeup, fix your hair, and like write down a list of things you want to talk about and like the products. But then I was like, nah, I'd rather watch Shane Dawson's new series on Jake Paul. <sighs> Have you been watching that? Because I'm very intrigued. I don't even know who Jake Paul is or I didn't before this. I had no idea. I'd never even heard of him, but I just love Shane Dawson so much. So I'm really enjoying that series. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I've had this stuff in a box because I've been planning on doing this monthly favorites video. I should have already done it, like, at the very end of September, but I was out of town, as a lot of you know. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is just a random assortment of things, so be prepared. Okay, so first up, let's start with this. This is the Makeup Revolution and Soph X um, Collaboration Highlight Palette. This is not, this is one of those things, it's not a new product. It's been out for a long time. But it is so freaking good. I don't know what took me so long to go and purchase this. But it's seriously probably one of the best highlighting palettes I own. And it's not very expensive either. I can't remember exactly how much it is. Like... This is part of the thing I was planning on organizing so I could tell you like prices and stuff, but I'm gonna guess it's like 10 bucks. And you know, you can always use that $3.50 off coat at Ulta. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. And then um, if I remember, I'll insert some swatches here, but it's gorgeous. And I'll just basically mix all of these together and it makes this beautiful, like, I don't even know if you can see that. It's just this stunning highlight. I'm, I'm obsessed with this. If you don't have it and you love highlights, you definitely, I recommend it. Unless you have a lot of highlights and you don't need any more because that's me at this point. Like, don't buy any more highlights. Okay, another drugstore thing that's not new but new to me that I've been obsessed with is this Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. It looks like this. And it smells like the beach. It doesn't smell exactly like the Physicians Formula One. This smells more like, like a really delicious suntan lotion. Oh God, but it's this huge pan and I believe this is like $5. And the color is just, it's beautiful. It's not too warm, but it's, I don't even think you can see that in this lighting. Because I'm in the living room, I wanted to switch it up. I thought you'd be able to see all of my Halloween decor that I have all over the house, but... You can't. But anyway, this is like five bucks. It blends out beautifully. It's like seriously so pretty and I'm obsessed with it. It smells so good. It smells so good and it's five dollars and it's huge. This will last you forever unless you have a really big face like me. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Highly recommend this as well. Five dollars, can't beat it. Um, let's see, we'll just stick to it another not new, but new to me, face product. This is the Flower Beauty Blush Pots. It's um, powder blush flower pots in peach primrose. Very inexpensive. And honestly, I've never tried a Flower Beauty product that I didn't absolutely love. Like, Drew Barrymore is killing it. She's killing it. And I love this color. And it's perfect for fall. It's like a really pretty peachy mauvey pink color. It blends out beautifully. I love the packaging. It's so stinking cute. I love the name, Peach Primrose. I just highly recommend these blushes. I really want to try some more from them. And the little flower thing reminds me of those Milani blushes. I really like this. It's super pretty. What else do we have? Oh, here's some more flower beauty things. I received these from a influencer service called Octoly. If you have 5,000... Instagram followers or like I think it's a thousand YouTube subscribers you can sign up and they send you products to try you have to apply for them But anyway, these are the warrior glitter shadows from flower beauty and I have these three shades 
and I believe these are under $10. Actually, I saw them at Ulta today, and I think they were like $9.99, but again, you spend $15, you can get, you know, the $3.50 off, and there's always sales at Ulta, so you could potentially get these for, you know, a lot cheaper. I got this green shade, which is camo, this gold shade, which is balm, and then this purple shade which is poison and I'll insert some swatches here if I remember but these are so cool and they're so beautiful and they don't flake off of your eyes like a lot of them do and I love pretty much all glitter shadows like this there's a ton of them but these don't flake and I really like them like the Stila ones sometimes on me will kind of like eventually flake off and then you've got glitter all over your face and it's just a mess but they have the best shade range Stila does but um there's these and they're like $9.99 and they're amazing. Um, some, I was going to show you all some more of the glitter shadows that I have options from the drugstore. So um, Pixie Beauty makes some. They're liquid fairy lights and they have all of these and they are very good as well. They're not as like, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like not as pigmented like the bottom color. It's not as pigmented as like the Flower Beauty one. Like when you swatch it, I think the darker colors are, but like the lighter color, like for instance, this is crystalline. Like, I mean, I get it, it's like clear, but like there's just not, can you even see that? I don't know if you can see that. There's not as much glitter, like it's not as opaque glitter as um, the Stila ones, but the darker colors are a lot better. I'm rambling now. I mean, you can obviously see the darker colors are a lot, a lot better in these, but I love all of these. And then Pop Beauty makes some fabulous ones. They look like this. They're called Flash Shadows, but I mean, they're really good too. So those are some drugstore options. If you're wanting to try out the Stila ones, I have quite a few of those as well. But these are 24 freaking dollars for this when you could get basically the same thing for $10, like I can't. Not, I mean, no shade at Stila. They have a magnificent range. And then also, Essence makes these called Metal Shock Eyeshadows. And I only picked up one color. I got a silver. But, I mean, it's they're pretty dang good, too. They're not so much glitter as, like, I mean, there's glitter in there. It's just really tiny. It's just really super shiny. It looks wet. I'm going to get this all over my shirt. Anyway, I just wanted to say... I was loving these Flower Beauty Warrior Shadows. They're amazing. I'm moving right along. Um, the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Probably the most hyped setting spray I've ever seen in my life. So I was like, I have to try it, see what the fuss is about. I didn't think I was gonna love it as much as I do, but it's freaking phenomenal I just I mean it has a scent but it's not it just smells good it's not anything floral or anything like that it makes your makeup like just sink into your skin like I'll put foundation and powder and all that jazz on and it just makes it look so much more natural so this is I think $15 totally worth it you can also use the $3.50 off coupon at Ulta I honestly highly highly recommend this this is my new favorite setting spray it's so freaking good i mean i don't know so much that it helps with the longevity of my makeup i mean forever urban decay all nighter for that yes but this just ooh, makes the makeup just sink into the skin and look so freaking good like my makeup has never looked better since using this like it's just amazing love it highly recommend it moving right along Another thing from the drugstore that's new to me. Oh, this doesn't have a name on it. It's just these blush bronzer duos from e.l.f. Looks like that. Um, this one is in Fiji. And honestly, this reminds me so much of Noir's Orgasm. It's so pretty. It's got like... It's, it's just stunning. And this is like $5. And it's so good. I even love the bronzer in here. It's perfect for travel because I love both of these shades. This is so good. So if you've been looking for a new blush, new bronzer to try out, I've given you some options from the drugstore. I really don't even think I have anything high-end in here. Oh, yes, I do. One thing. 
two things because I left one on my kitchen table and I just remembered. But anyway, this is the Found Beauty eyeshadow palette. I just did a tutorial kind of on this. I mean, it's used and abused. You can tell how much I've been using it. I took this palette to Cincinnati with me last week and it is the only palette I used the entire time. It blends itself. Basically, it's so good. I can't say enough good things about this. Like this is perfect for travel. I mean, it's honestly so good. This has shocked me. I think it was like $15 when I looked online and I'm sure maybe they have a coupon code or something. Just so good. I'm obsessed with this palette. It's the 10, number 10 nude palette. Highly recommend this if you're looking just for a basic nude colored eyeshadow palette because did you hear how it said eyeshadow? Blah, blah, blah. Eyeshadow palette. It's really good. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. And another thing from Found Beauty that I freaking love is this mascara. It's called the Found Beauty Volumizing Mascara. I'm pretty sure this is brown. Nope, it's black. Okay. Anywho, this is so good. I used it pretty much every day this week because, I mean, that wand is so good. It looks kind of messy. But it makes my eyelashes really voluminous. Like, I have straight, like, my eyelashes grow down like this. It's so obnoxious. And I keep looking at my viewfinder. I'm very sorry if that's annoying you. But, um, yeah, my gr lashes, like, grow down like this. But I will curl them and then put this mascara on. And it just makes them look so freaking long and so good. This is great mascara. I think it was, like, $10. It's just called Volumizing Mascara. I love it. If you're looking for a new mascara, this is a dang good one. Love it. Okay, um, let's see, okay, and this is probably one of my favorite things that I've been trying out this month. It's the Rodin and Fields Reverse System. So Rodin and Fields, somebody from Rodin and Fields reached out to me and they wanted to send me something to try and I love skincare. I'm not as... Like, I don't do it as often as I should. Like, I'm really lazy, and I'm trying really hard to not be. But I've been doing this faithfully, and I can tell such a huge difference in my skin. So, I start out using the Deep Exfoliating Wash. And, I mean, it's, it's crusty and gross now because I've been using it. It's, like, half gone. But, oh, this stuff is exfoliating, but it doesn't, like, it's not super harsh. I use this twice a day. I don't know if I'm supposed to because I didn't read the instructions but I've been using this morning and night most most days sometimes I fall asleep not with my makeup on but before I do the whole skincare system again I'm terribly lazy so I start with this I do this and then I do the intensive brightening toner and this I've been using it faithfully twice a day it smells weird to me like it doesn't stink it even kind of smells good but there's something about like when I put it in my face I feel like I can taste it like that's weird but it's got a strong scent not strong but I really don't know how to describe it uh, I feel silly now but I'll put it on my face with like cotton balls and I'll just rub it like this all over my face and just I feel like it gets in my mouth some maybe I'm getting it in my mouth I don't know but it's working wonders like I see such a huge difference in my skin and then I do the third step which is the dual active brightening complex and it's just these two things I just put like a pea size amount on my fingers and rub it together and then massage it into my face I'm supposed to do it twice a day but usually I mean I've been doing it mostly twice a day but sometimes only once and then it also comes with the SPF 50 sunscreen, which I don't use every day just if I'm going to be outside because usually I don't go outside. And when I go to work, I'm usually just wearing my tinted moisturizer, my moisturizer that has SPF in it. So I don't want to waste this because it's actually, it feels really nice. Like it's not greasy or anything. It feels almost like a gel consistency. It smells nice like sunscreen. But anyway. I'm obsessed with this and I'm really scared because this is like a hundred dollars a month or something or like for the kit but the kits lasted me over a month so maybe it's like two months 
I should have really read into this before I started talking about it, but it's so freaking good. I mean, if you're looking for something to like help with, I have dark spots, a little bit of freckles. Um, I don't have super bad acne, just when it's that time of month, I'll break out a little bit like I am right now. I've got like three pimples on my face, but I don't have super bad acne, so I don't have like really bad acne scarring, but I do have like sunspots. Like I have a lot of freckles like above my lips that make it look like I have a mustache, which I have a mustache, but I get rid of it. But the freckles just make my upper lip look darker. So this has really been helping. And it's also helped a lot with the texture on the bridge of my nose. Because, like, I don't have really bad texture anywhere else. Just super bad on my nose. And I have a lot of blackheads, which I'm trying to get rid of them. And it's really improved a lot this month. So if you're looking for a really good skincare system, I highly recommend this. And there's a ton of people that sell this, like, that are affiliated with it or whatever. I'm not affiliated with it. I just was testing it. And um, I'm really actually pretty upset that I love it so much because I'm going to have to shell out $100 when I run out of this. And I don't want to because I'm poor, but it's just that good. Like, I will repurchase this because I see results. And I did take before pictures, but when I don't have makeup on and I'm looking straight at the camera, my nose looks this wide. So I'm actually dreading posting my before and after pictures, but it is what it is. I have... A wide nostril so um, yeah I'll post those you know when I run out of this stuff but it's so good I love it I've been talking for 17 minutes <laughs> okay another thing from Roden Fields that I love is this active hydration that's my hair anyway you can tell how much I used it by how greasy the top of it is but um, this stuff is freaking amazing it's so good and it feels just heavenly and I mean, honestly, I've been using a ton of stuff this month to try to hydrate my skin because it's so dry. But this probably beats everything I've been trying. It feels like after you put it on, it feels like your skin is wet. Like it just adds so much hydration in there. It smells good. It doesn't leave your skin feeling like sticky or gross. It's just like a really, really nice moisturizer. And I put it on my knees, elbows, all my dry spots, and I'm obsessed with this and I love it. And I didn't look up the price for this, but I'm also terrified to see what it is because I love it and I want to repurchase it when I run out. And my husband is actually on Accutane right now. So we've been getting a bunch of moisturizers and stuff for him because he's getting dried out. And this is so good. Highly recommend it if you're dry like me. Well, let's see. Another thing I've been loving, Biore sent me this charcoal cleansing micellar water and I love this and I don't know if y'all saw that hilarious video of that girl from Pretty Little Liars Shay Mitchell do that funny thing where she had the cotton round and she was like oh look it took off all my mascara and stuff oh. but she didn't even touch her face it was so funny I don't know if it was a joke or or what was going on but I was like that stuff works so good like you could have actually taken your mascara and eyeliner off with it because it works and it smells so good. I love this stuff so much. I also have a baking soda one that's awesome. So thank you Biore for sending this to me because I love it. Um, let's see. Another th few things I've been loving are Sigma brushes. I had never tried them before. So Sigma sent me some brushes to try. I got this flat top kabuki brush. It's the Sigma F80 flat top kabuki brush and I'm a big beauty blender person but this is so good and I have the Morphe Y6 as well and I like this so much better it just makes the product look like it's just in my skin like my foundation is my skin like I love this it blends out everything so fast and then I've got this one that I use for my contour which is the F04 and this brush is just so and it fit, it fits, what is that? Anyway, it fits like right in that hollow of your cheek there. And it just blends everything out so nice. I really, really, really love this. And then my new favorite crease brush is the E38. I'm going to have to buy a ton more of these brushes because... I've used a bunch of different types. A lot of them are mostly Morphe, but this just gets right in there and it blends everything out so good. And 
I mean, it's not so dense that it's hard or anything. It's like super soft, but it just blends everything out just perfectly. I love this. I love it. And I'm also an affiliate with Sigma, so I get, I have a discount code. It's Alicia10, A-L-Y-S-H-A-10, which I don't, I mean, you don't have to use it. You can just, I mean, there's a ton of other ones. So if you haven't tried Sigma brushes, I mean, I, I say give them a try because they're so freaking good. And you see people use affiliate codes and stuff or like spout out there, oh, this is my affiliate code. Let me push products for you. I'm not doing that. These are actually super, super good. And I'm impressed with them. And like I said, you don't have to use my code. You don't have to buy anything that I'm talking about. I'm just talking about stuff. So, but I really liked those brushes and I was pleasantly surprised by how good they were. <laughs> Another thing that I'm obsessed with is this BFF facial cleanser. It's made of like this silicone material, so it's super easy to like clean and sanitize. And I not only like to clean with it, like put my cleanser on here and just clean, 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 and it really gets in those pores. And this might be also helping with that texture that I'm wiping my makeup off. But it may be helping with my texture there. But I don't know if you can hear it. I mean, it's got two different sides with two different, you know, um, textured silicone things. But another thing that I like to do with this, after I wash my face, I will put my serum on. Which, um, I have a bunch of different kinds that I use. But one of them that I really love is the Tarte Maracuja Oil. So I'll put my Tarte Maracuja Oil on and then I'll just massage it into my face with this. And I feel like it really just makes my skin soak up the product more. And I've been trying desperately this month to really improve my skincare game. And I think this has helped me a lot. And I really love this. And I'm going to have a giveaway coming up with Holistic Beauty, which has this um, BFF, which is like Best Face Friend, I think is what it stands for. But it's got different levels that you can turn it up or down. And it's like waterproof. You can take that off and charge it. It's just really nice. And I really like that it's easy to clean and easy to travel with. It's super good. And I love it. Oops. Um, okay. Another thing. I just talked about this on my Instagram. And it is the Color Science Total Eye 3-in-1 Therapy. It looks like this. And when you push this up. I don't want to give you a lot of product, but it comes out there and it's a little bit colored. So it's kind of like a concealer, but it just like really hides all of these under eyes. And I keep it in my refrigerator. Thanks, KP Beauty. But um, yeah, I keep it in the refrigerator so it's cool. So I just, you know, you just take it and you just rub it underneath your eye. And like this middle part is already kind of cool feeling. So it just really helps with those under eye bags, dark circles, and it just relaxes that under eye area. And I feel like it covers up all the dark circles. So before work, I'll just put on a little bit of tinnel moisturizer, put this on, and then some mascara, sometimes some eyeshadow, and I'm good to go because I don't need to be fancy to go to work. But this is really awesome. And I really don't know the price. I didn't look it up. But, I mean, you can find it on their website. And it's super good. And I love it. So, if you have really dark under eye circles or any kind of under eye bag areas that you're not super fond of, I would give this a try. It's, it's really good. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I'm burning alive in here because I turned my fan off so you couldn't hear it in the microphone. I'm dying. It's so hot. Okay. Another drug... I've got glitter all over me. Another drugstore find for me this month that is not new but new to me is the Essence Make Me Brow. It looks like this. It is, I hear, a like knockoff for the Benefit... Is it Give Me Brow? It's just a nice brunette brow gel. Well, I got brunette. I don't know if it comes in any other colors. I would assume so. Yeah, this is number two, brownie brows. That's funny. But um, yeah, it's just a colored brow gel. I feel like it gives my eyebrows definition. And I've been trying to grow them out with that Avon stuff that I'm going to be telling y'all about soon. But it has really made my eyebrows look so much better. They're almost where I want them to be. I just have a bald patch like right here and a little bit sparse right here. But other than that, they're good. Okay, this is... 
I have another thing I'm gonna go get in a minute, but this is probably one of the only higher end items that I have, and this is the Dose of Colors Gloss in the shade Can You Not? Looks like this. I mean, it's just honestly, well, can you see that? It's just honestly the most gorgeous nude gloss. Like, I'll just put it on now. Hmm, it's so pretty. I love it so much. And I got it when it was on sale at Ulta for $10. I'm glad I got this shade because it is, I've been wearing it all the time. Like, I wear it constantly. It's super good. I love it. Another thing I've been loving for my lips is the Makeup Revolution Just Bullet Lipstick. I got the shade Chauffeur. Oh dang, that's almost the same color. So this right here is Chauffeur. It's just a little bit pinkier. And I, I mean, honestly, look at how much I've used of it. And I've only had it, you know, since September about. So I've been using it constantly. It's pretty much like these two things paired. Oh, so good. Um, another thing that is not makeup related, but it is a Bath and Body Works candle. This is my second one. I'm almost done with my first one. It is the Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. This is my new favorite candle. Like, I just want to eat this candle. It smells so good. Love this candle. Another one that I really love, but it's not my favorite, so I didn't want to put it in here, is the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. This is my second one. <laughs> Yeah, I go through some candles. My last favorite, which is certainly not my least favorite, is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. So I was sent this probably at the end of end of August, towards the end of August, and I love this palette. It's like literally everything that you could possibly need. It's so beautiful. The shades are so good. It blends out like a dream. It's probably I'm going to go ahead and say it is my very favorite palette so far of 2018 because it's got some cool tones, it's got warm tones, it's got neutrals, it's got everything and it's so good and I love, love, love the packaging. So pretty. I'm obsessed with this palette. So if you're looking for a freaking amazing palette, I highly recommend this one. It's, like I said, my favorite one so far this year. I mean, it'll probably be my favorite one all year long so look for this baby in my 2018 makeup favorites if I make that video because as we've said I'm very lazy <laughs> I'm actually surprised I'm recording this now but another thing I wanted to just shout out real quick I just got it last week but it is this new lipstick that Avon sent me I think it was a bestseller it's called nourishing lipstick in oh Jesus Rue, no. Oh, it's called Peony Blush. Woo! I guess that's it in French or Spanish or something. I was like, Rouge a Lever. I don't even know what that says. But anyway, this is called uh, Peony Blush. It's a nourishing lipstick. It's almost glossy. So I wore this today. Like, honestly, it's almost glossy. It's so pretty. I don't know how much this costs. I don't know anything about it. I just started using it. It's not part of my September favorites. I just wanted to shout it out because I was wearing it at the beginning of the video. So, um, that's pretty much it for my September favorites. Another favorite that I just discovered at Whole Foods the other day is this strawberry cider. It's delicious. But yeah, that's it for my September favorites. Hopefully my October favorites will be more organized and also at the end of October instead of the beginning of November. Sorry about that. Yeah, if you want to, you can hit that subscribe button, um, hit the bell beside the notification button, and that will alert you anytime I upload a video, which hopefully will be more frequently. Um, and you can follow me on Instagram at Alicia Michelle 88 I also have a Facebook page, but it just posts whatever I post on Instagram. I have a Twitter, it's Alicia. Michelle 8, I think. I really don't know. I'll try to link it down below if I can remember. But, um, yeah, that's it, guys. 
I hope that you stuck around for the whole video. Thank you if you did. And um, you can leave me some comments down below and let me know what you've been loving for the month of September or now that it's October, what you're loving so far in October. I also thought about doing like a, not really a house tour cause I don't really have a super huge house but like show y'all my fall decor. Would you be interested in that? Because I watch a lot of like fall haul videos and like fall decoration videos. I would totally walk through the house and show y'all because I'm obsessed with pumpkins and my house is completely decked out in pumpkins and just like really cute fall stuff. Like look at this little bird. He's so cute. But yeah, I like cutesy fall stuff. I don't really decorate for Halloween. I love Halloween, but I just keep all my fall stuff up year round not year round, but like all fall long because pumpkins make me happy. But anyway, I've rambled on long enough. I'm going to let you go. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.